Crossroads Media. I want to start with the veteran core, the veteran group. Jason Kelsey, Lane Johnson, Brandon Graham, Fletcher Cox, and how much this means to the team. Them being here already. Them doing this before. Them going through this experience. There's some young guys in this room. Even Hurts, who we know has poise and is calm and seems ready for the moment. This upcoming week is going to be different. The media attention. Going through your practice schedule with everything surrounding it. You can say it's another week all you want. You could say we're preparing for just another game all you want, but because you're out of your element and all these little things you have to deal with add up to realizing that this isn't just week 14. It's not week 12. It's not a game at the link. Going through this is added pressure. And there's guys who have done it and been doing it. And same with Kansas City. They have an advantage in that spot. But I I love the fact that these guys are not just a part of this team. Because there's a difference between being a part of this team and then being a reason why you're having success when you're talking about a core group that's been here forever. For example, you go look at the Miami Heat. Haslam's still on the bench. Brandon Graham tore his Achilles and got double-digit sacks. Lane Johnson still hasn't given up a sack in years. Jason Kelsey's the best center in football. Fletch, he's definitely risen to the to the betterment of the squad. The, the better side uh, is probably a better way to put it. He's taken a step since Howie made an acquisition, multiple acquisitions, so he didn't have to play 70 snaps in one football game. It's impressive to me that you're still relying on these players to be why you are in this position. They're not just hanging on by playing extra years so they could be a Philadelphia Eagle or they could be some sort of locker room presence. Their locker room presence, and this is no disrespect to Nick Sirianni, but I think that allows Nick Sirianni to get away with being him. And that doesn't mean it can't work without them. But we talk about in coaching all the time. Let players be who they are. Let them show their personality. It can't go too far, though. There's got to be a limit within the team's eye and within what the team wants to be. But you got to let them be them. Having the relationship with Nick Sirianni and the team with these core veterans, it makes it easier. Because it is different, and it is goofy. Let's say, hypothetically, you didn't have these vets. And instead, it was a 21-year-old, a 23-year-old, and a 24-year-old. I I think it's different. Once again, doesn't mean it doesn't work. But I think it has to be shifted a bit. They allow Sirianni to be Sirianni. Jason Kelsey, in the beginning of the year, had to tone down the head coach publicly. He looked at the media in the eyes and talked about how we have to kind of calm it down a little bit. Bring it back in. Reel it back in. And then now those same players are leading you to a championship? It's incredible. Fletch had to deal with adversity. This wasn't easy for him. So did BG, by the way. Physically and emotionally, going through that type of damage to his Achilles and balling out. But Fletch this year was getting so much heat. He was getting so much hate. And he said, forget it. You're going to remember that I can be Fletcher Cox. And he has improved tremendously and showed his worth. The fact that this group of four guys can possibly, with one game left to go, they have to win one more football game. They can go from incredible 
Philadelphia sports heroes? Because Lane has done so much than just play through injuries on the football field and be dominant in his position. But we know about the vocal side of the mental health and how much he has impacted society, letting everyone know it's okay to struggle. It's okay to go through things. BG, I watched a special on him where he was helping out so many people in the community. People who needed help with so many different thing and things in their lives. Like, these guys were heroes outside of if they were to win two Super Bowls. But talk about legacy difference. If they're able to get two? Two Super Bowls with the Eagles? 10, 15, 20 years down the road. Brian Westbrook, Brian Dawkins. There's so many guys in this franchise that we admire and love, as we should, and we will continue to love those guys. One football game away, though, and we're talking two. It's hard to fathom. Part of me thinks with Jason Kelsey, because year after year after year after year, we know what the speculation is in the offseason. You would think if they could do it again, that's the proper time. You saw him with his daughters and the confetti. I watched him and his brother on the podcast, and I thought it was awesome. Really fun conversation. I I thoroughly enjoyed it all. And I don't watch every episode of of their show, to be fair. I tune into one with Hertz. I tune into one with Mahomes. I tune into this one. It's super entertaining. But you start to wonder... Would it be the perfect time to say goodbye to the game? With that said, though, and it wouldn't be because of play. And no one ever questioned that with Kelsey. It was never going to be because he fell apart and couldn't hang on the football field. It would be because he's beat up. It's been a long career. He's played a lot. He's been fighting in those trenches. Snap after snap after snap. I don't want to do it anymore. I'm hurting. At the same time, and I get it, this is blind fan optimism. The resurgence with Jalen Hurts on what this team could do. Let's say he does get a second. Well, hold on a second. Devontae, AJ, Gannon comes back. Steichen's going for a second round of interviews with the Indianapolis Colts, even though it seemed like Jeff Saturday was going to be a lock for them. Maybe you do lose your offensive coordinator, but maybe you... Bring in Brian Johnson, or he's already there, but you move him up from quarterbacks coach to OC. You keep a lot of the same pieces. Why can't we do this again? Three sounds better than two. I'm at the top of my game. I know Hurts is special. Blind fan optimism? No doubt about it. I'm willing to admit that. But it's got to be on the table, no? No. 